What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. Come back, got some goodies to show you that I ordered. What's going on my outdoor crew? How in the world are you doing? So, I was watching a buddy of mine that I've been watching for a long time, been subscribed to him for a long time. Harishman Hills. Oh, won't focus. I'll leave a link down below for his YouTube channel. I was watching one of his videos here not too long ago. And he was showing um, some fire starting stuff. Now, I still like dibbling with the old fire starting techniques and stuff. Whether it be uh, flint and steel. Whatever I can find to start fires. I still like to practice it. Even though when I'm car camping and everything, I like to get lit and get going. But I still like to play with it. I still like to dibble in it. One of the things I've always wanted was one of the little pocket bellows. Um, that I was watching, like I said, I was watching uh, Harishman. He got a mail call, some fire starters. So I'll leave actually a link to that video um, down below. And y'all can check it out. Um... But you got some fire starters from a guy on Etsy. Now, I love shopping on Etsy. Um, find all kinds of cool things that you would never think of on Etsy. Um, and what I found was, and this guy's got a YouTube channel too, so I'll leave a link to his Etsy store and his YouTube channel down below. But it's, come on, focus. Come on. There you go. Mr. Outdoorsy. Um... But I saw what all he had, and so I wanted to dibble off into it and see what all he had, and found some cool things. Um, did pick up the pocket bellows. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around where you can see everything, and we're going to take a look at what I got from him. And I've got one something that's really cool that some of you guys that backpack and stuff may want to take a look at. Okay, so let's take a look at what I ordered. I ordered the pocket bellows, which got it. Really cool. I can't wait to give this thing a, a whirl. It's a big one. I mean, it's perfect. Um, we're going to do some uh, fire starting this year, this winter out back here behind the house. And I'll probably do some more, too, uh, on camping trips. Get back to the old ways of starting fires, especially when it's, you know, getting cold out again. Um, and I ordered this. Let me crack this open. But he also, he threw in a couple of bonuses. Uh, some of his Fire Fuzz XL. They're impregnated uh, cotton balls with uh, wax and stuff. Um, some of his Fire, Fire Fuzz XL. And then I got some of his, I would say this is probably um, um, pine wood. Um, pine wood, that's not, fat wood is what I'm trying to say. Um, but this is 10 size, but black and white, old school, 10 size fire starter. So pretty neat, pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. But this is what caught my eye on his, um, on the, his, uh, store. And let me use this little knife to get this open with. And I'll show you guys what this is. Now, this is a wick, a little wick. It goes in here and you just screw this top off and you unscrew this now I'm not gonna light this right now but you fill it up with lamp oil anything burnable burnable is that a word I don't think so um, this may take a little doing to get this wick in here but basically, you fill this up. Okay, got it all together. Got the wick and the candle holder. So basically what you'll do is, and all this is handmade machine lathe, I would say. Uh, you can tell it's all aluminum. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on. Focus right there. It's all machine lathed in. Um, all the parts are. I would... I really wish back in the day I'd paid a little more attention to my dad and uh, worked with him a little bit with his metal leg because he was always 
making something on a metal lay. But uh, you screw this back down on top. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I forgot something important. We'll pull that through just a little bit. Don't want too long of a wick. Now, I'm not going to light it right now. Um, may light it sometime here a little while later in the video. But you put your wick in. There's an O-ring that goes back in there like so. Still want that down just a little bit. But then... Um, of course you got an o-ring on the inside of this cap and now you got an o-ring that's on here so when you screw this down you should not get any leaks in your pack but it becomes a little candle um, reusable candle is what I like and of course you can get uh, more wicks for it and everything but I thought that was super cool that's really neat um, doesn't weigh anything I mean it's very light wish i had a scale to weigh it um give me just a second i'll take a look at something real quick okay um i was trying to look see the i was trying to look to see the ounce of how what this weighs it's probably not more than a couple ounces to be honest with you um it is 1.708 inches tall and 1.160 inches uh, wide across so it's a very small um, item I was trying to think of something I could put up here to show you but well here it is to a double-a battery so it's about the size of a maybe a C or D battery but um, you know for a little candle light you know we'll see how bright it gets here in a minute you can use lighter fluid you can use gas I don't recommend using gas Lamp oil or kerosene. Uh, seals watertight, will not spill in your pack. Because of one wick and O rings. Uh, of course, I mill it empty, which makes sense. But uh, yeah, I mean, really neat products. Uh, like I said, I'll leave the links down below for their website at, on Etsy, and you can go check them out. And if you need any fire starting stuff, and you don't have time to really make it yourself or go um, find it, you know, you can order it from this guy. So anyways, we'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to fill this thing up and we'll take a, we'll light it up and see how much light we get. Okay, for the last little bit, we're going to do the test on the burn. We'll see how much light we get off this thing. And I will kill the shop light for a second. And there it is. That puts off quite a bit of little light. Um, you could use that in a survival situation. Blows right out. Let me cap this thing so the smoke don't set off the fire alarm. Because that would be a bad thing. But my main thing is I wanted to see. It doesn't leak. I'm not getting any leaks on it. Um, I would trust the the old candle lamp oil better than I would anything in it um, uh, you can use um, Zippo fluid in I guess if you want to maybe some kerosene something with a low flash point now, we know how many houses back in the day these things burned down this stuff burned down so you, you definitely got to be careful with it because it is an open flame it's not a battery operated uh, light so you know you have to take precautions and but i think it's a really really cool idea and um i, I think guys are looking for something to throw in your pack this would be pretty cool to throw in your pack uh so go check them out like i said links will be down below for harrisman's youtube channel and for um black and white old school fire starters and stuff like that on Etsy. Go check it out. So that's it for this one. Be prepared.